So um, I think the role of interfaith dialogue in facing climate change, first of all, is crucial because if the world doesn't work together, the inequalities that are present in the world are not going to be resolved. Um, and especially in a country like India, um, well, what I, well, let me, let me address this from my position. So I stand up in front of a classroom of students at a university who most of them don't study religion, right? They're just taking a class so that they can graduate from college but they are gonna go out and address the issues of climate change. But they need to understand the values of people in India. And most of the people in India value Hindu religion, right? So they need to understand and be able to value and understand the values of those people. So I try to open their minds and help them to see the values of their Hindu brothers and sisters and um, to overcome some of the biases that they come to class with. So um, that's why I come to India with tremendous curiosity and I love this opportunity to have interfaith dialogue so that I can learn more about what that means, so that I can go home and let them understand that and then they can solve the issues of interfaith dialogue. If they can communicate and understand those cultural nuances, then they can start to... I think the biggest barrier is not listening. Uh, we want to talk, but we don't want to listen. Um, and I think we lack, we lack curiosity sometimes. So, um, the... Uh, I would also add humility. I think humility, lack of humility is a barrier. So sometimes we need to back off and say, um, what could I learn from the other perspective that I don't already know? To me, this is the only way that this world and can be united is through interfaith collaboration. Um, the only way forward is to overcome the um, communalism that stands behind religion, right? And uh, communalism and uh, misunderstanding comes because we don't take the time to understand, right? And um, the efforts like this and efforts that focus here, I, I've had an incredible opportunity with the students here at MIT World Peace University. From, the, from day one of, of arriving here, we've had students that have just held our hands and have been so welcoming to um, reach out and answer every question. And um, I've had Sangeet, for instance, I don't know if I can say his name on camera, but I just did. So um, he explained to me something that I'm gonna go home and explain to my students. He told me that in Mar Maharashtra, there's a saying that every 13 miles, no, every 10 kilometers, the religion changes. If you can imagine that, every 10 kilometers in Maharashtra, the religion changes. You've got to understand. And he, he explained to me, he's a political science student, right? If you have to understand the nuances there to understand the politics, I mean, you've got to understand religion, right? So um, anyway, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be here and for what's going on here at this university. Thank <laughs> you.